It's actually the opposite. We've had nuchal translucency measurements for a long time, since we've had ultrasounds for greater than 50 years. Historically, we combined looking at certain ultrasound findings with serum markers in the pregnant patient's blood to see if there's an increased risk of chromosomal abnormalities in the pregnancy. Nowadays, we have a lot of genetic testing options compared to just doing the serum and ultrasound testing. And so a lot of patients nowadays are probably just doing the genetic testing as a screening tool for genetic abnormalities, but there are still a lot of patients who get the nuchal translucency test. What they do during this ultrasound test, so it happens between 11 weeks and 13 weeks and six days, is that they're looking at the back of the fetus's neck. Every place is gonna have different cutoffs. Ours is three millimeters for what is considered normal. As you can see in this ultrasound picture, this space is bigger, and this would warrant doing further testing because remember, this is just a screening tool. It does not confirm anything. So no matter what kind of screening tool you have, whether it's the nuchal translucency and the blood serum work, or the genetic testing. This is a screening tool. It does not confirm anything. Your doctors are gonna to talk to you about the confirmatory test to get an actual diagnosis.